And welcome back, this is Bella Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming match is Yellow One. He is ranked 26th in his silver division with a record of 85 and 84 with 1,138 points. And here we are in the game. I have spawned as the Red Terran in the east up against Yellow One. He is the Blue Protoss. He did not get to spawn as Yellow, which I assume is his favorite color. Uh, he is in the west. Uh, the map is Lost Temple, so of course the east and west are a little bit off. I would say this is about 2.30 and 8.30, not really a 3 and a 9, truly. But this is a map that I, once again, always hear. It's great for siege tanks. Siege tank drops, uh, especially to wipe out the expansion right here. Uh, while I do have uh, you guys' attention, I know that you usually don't pay attention at the end of the, of the video. I wanted to give a special shout out to one of my subscribers. His name is, uh, I wrote it down, hold on, Bubba18sar? Sorry if I don't pronounce that right. I don't pronounce most people's names right. He has been giving me tips. I know it's probably been frustrating because I haven't been playing since he actually gave me gave me that first tip. Uh, especially about the mid to late game. He did notice that I was only getting three barracks. And uh, that, was, that was it. Ever. That is because that I wanted to go for a tech switch. And I always failed at it. So... I, I will be listening to him. Let's see how well I do in this game. Please keep that in mind for uh, the next upcoming week. You should be seeing me get more than three barracks. Uh, we are going to be seeing a late gateway from the yellow one here. Uh, it should it's it's going to be up after my barracks. That that that's interesting. Um, he actually uh, went to scout up here, and that probe came back down to build the gateway. I've been scouting all over the map. I see him coming across, so I assume that he also missed on his first scouting, so I am going to the far west part of the map. And he comes into my base, scouts everything, and then immediately leaves. I, I don't know if he caught that. There we go. He is coming back in. It uh, looks like he just went to uh, shift keyed all all of the all of the bases and then realized that I was at the first one that he queued up. So he wanted to keep him inside. And here, oh, uh, uh, I didn't see the probe come back in. I was not paying attention. So he will just chill in the corner over here from now on. He is making a zealot. At the first gateway, Cybernetics Core is on the way. We are going to be seeing well, more probes coming out of the Nexus. As always, second gateway is on the way as well. Are we going to be seeing a proxy pylon out of him? And no. Trust me, I, I, I... Where is it? Yeah, here we go. I cannot see him. So, so, no, don't ask. Still can't see him. And he is moving up north. That is uh, some great drone probe harvester control from the Protoss player. They're always so good at that. I never even think about that, to be honest with you guys. You know, the, the proxy barracks, proxy bunker. It doesn't even occur to me. So when I see a probe leave, I assume that he's left for good. Didn't even notice him coming back in. Otherwise, I would have gone all the way around. I do know about the proxy pylons and the photon cannon rushes. Actually, I don't think I've ever lost to a photon cannon rush, though. I did lose to a planetary fortress rush. That was a, that was a great game, actually. Uh, that was number 20. You can see me epically fail. That was awesome. As, as well as number 25, I do remember that, uh, against Turkleton. I did try to submit that to the game station to try to get them to feature me. It did not work. Yeah. If I can find another great match, I will be sending that in to them as well. I do. Well, let's just face it. I would like to get paid for, for this. I, I won't change the thing. I guarantee you that. I don't want you guys saying I'm selling out. To me, a sellout is somebody that changes what they do. I will not change what I do for money. I'll change what I do if you guys ask me to change it. 
but if I'm just doing the same thing that I always have with these videos and they want to give me money for it, I'm going to take the money. Proxy pylon finally on the way. It is the seven minute mark, so way past the mark where I would assume that a proxy pylon would be coming in. All of these could have been warped into his base, but they weren't. He is, as always, killing me in the APM. Zealots, stalkers, and sentries out. Meanwhile, I am massing marines and marauders, as you might expect. Still, I, yeah, no, sorry guys, still, still can't see it. It annoyed the crap out of me when I first saw it. It's like, what the hell? How'd that get there? Ugh, Protoss. Stimpak is almost done. Concussive shells did finish. I am getting the level 1 weapons upgrade as well as the combat shield. So, pretty much just the standard build for me. Meanwhile, I supply lock myself. I do get that mule out, though. There we go. Supply Depot is up. Still not using the proxy pylon, so he's just kind of just hanging it out there. I'm moving out. He spots me moving out with the Observer. And as a result, he runs his units back into the base. I did spot that he did that from the Zelnaga Tower. And boom, in come the Zealots. I don't actually spot them until they are fully up. Uh, then I realize, what the hell? There, there's Zealots in the back of my base. Uh, there must have been a warp prism. Right? That That's what you guys would have assumed. Right? So here we are. Two battles really going on. One here, and then we'll, I'll show you quickly the other one once this is definitively over and it looks like it is there. So we are seeing two battles. Uh, Zealots easily taken out by what I had produced in my base. Probe getting taken out as well as the proxy pylon. And here it's going down to the wire, but I do manage to get some pot shots off on these warp gates. That is something that I should probably correct. I shouldn't just stand and attack structures. And I'll be honest, I do that throughout this week's games. I believe I have games uh, played, at least, out until probably Saturday or Sunday. And I'll probably be recording them all today. Sorry, guys, it's just the only way I can get these done. I cannot do them every day. Just do not have the time for it. Probe hanging out the Zalnaga Tower. Proxy pylon outside my base now after I destroyed the one inside my base. I am keeping my guys on the far Zelnaga Tower as well. So really we're, we're keeping each other to a point within our base and expansion with the Zelnaga Tower. And I don't think I ever noticed that. And of course he can see that clearly me walking across. So he knows exactly what's going on. I have no idea what's going on. And it is forcing him to warp in more stalkers and zealots and sentries. He is getting a robotics bay. I forgot the name of that for a second there. So that he can bust out some colossi. Colossi. They will be awesome. There, there's really no other way to put it. They'll be awesome against my marines and marauders. Of course, he will need to defend them. They are pretty weak. To my marines and marauders they are only awesome in terms of damage dealt not in terms of damage received i finally do here we go wanted to show this off because i finally did it and i learned my lesson somewhat i have five barracks up now not using all of them right now because i'm low on minerals uh, that's really that's really why I kept with the three racks for so long because I did uh, I, I, I needed the expansion I felt before I could upgrade from the three racks uh, but I am getting it now you know five racks and the expansion is on the way so I should be able to afford this easily once that is finished he is researching thermal lance upgrade for that colossa he will need it First one is on the way. I do believe that is the first one, isn't it? Yeah, he doesn't have one yet. In terms of the army, I'm going to say I'm ahead. 
but that's just well yeah look at this supply count 86 over 67 I am ahead but I don't necessarily know that of course this proxy piling could change things for me as well as this scout out front he could see everything that's going on observer going to check out find out what happened to my army he should know he did send a probe over here that died but he is going to keep the observer here to make sure that I don't completely wipe him out. But he wants to know when I move out, I guess. That's always good to know. Forge just now on the way. It's a very late forge, I think. Usually, uh, you know, if, if forges are the Protoss equivalent to the engineering bay, then definitely that's late. Here I do manage to do a small bit of kiting to take out those zealots. That is also something that uh, Bubba 18 czar did mention. He wanted me to kite the zealots better because every yeah, he's absolutely right, and I have been not doing that. Let's face it. So I did try to do it there. Not I'm not too good at the micro. I'll be honest, but I did try, and I will try again. I guarantee you that. I you know you can only get better with practice, but I practice in front of you guys. So I will suck in front of you guys from time to time, let's face it. Twilight Council is on the way. That is for... that's not even the Templar Archives, so no. Um, I always get those two confused Templar Archives, Twilight Council, and I think just because they start with a T. That's really for charged zealots and blink stalkers, and considering... It's hard to tell what he's got on the field. Well, n not what he's got on the field, but what kind of upgrade he's going to be going for based on what he's got on the field. He re could really go either way with it. I would assume that he'd go for the charge zealots because the blink stalkers aren't going to be able to do that much at this point. I do have a massive lead in the units lost count. I moved the bulk of my army now to the front. Zelnaga Tower, well, I call it the front because it is front in uh, terms of looking at it from where I am. And here I go for the attack here. Not even bothering to kite. Not even... No. Um, because these uh, Colossi will continue to do damage, so I don't think I need to kite there. If you want to correct me, feel free. And there goes the entire army. There goes everything in his base. So the surprise attack that he started with will not pan out it looks like because let's face it he's got nothing left and I should be able to clean this up even these stalkers aren't going to be able to finish the job but a colossus is out if he well the only thing that I can think of is if he attacked with the probes he might be able to hold them off but the probes were too far away colossus went down as did everything else I GG'd and so did he well he GG'd first, of course. And that was the game. So definitely I did learn a few lessons here. I still went for the starport. Yeah. I always want to go for the starport. As well as the factory, and I always seem to get the tech lab on there just for posterity's sake. I don't think I ever used it. And of course, you know, my macro did slip at the end when I started to lose, well, lose, uh, lose tension. I'll put it that way lose tension in the game and I thought that the game was over so as I started to wipe everything out I'm like eh whatever no need to produce but that's something that I should not do as well you know you never want to see you never want to give up the production advantage and then have the guy suddenly have a base over here in the island or something like that so Thank you once again to Bubba18 Sar. That is that is what I'm gonna call you unless you start correcting me. Uh, thank you for your comments. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, thank you to all my subscribers. I do have nine at the time that I'm recording this video. I would love more, so tell your friends. But I do love the ones that I have. Just right now, not as much as Bubba18 Sar. So I hope you guys enjoyed the game. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Bye.